24 minutes in the books at the queue in Cleveland. We saw the Cavs earlier this <laughs> week get pounded by the Golden State Warriors. Now the Clippers in town and they lead them by nine as LeBron has nine on four of eight shooting. We welcome you to the American Express Halftime Report. Studio J here in Atlanta, Ernie Johnson, Kenny, Shaq, and Charles. Um, yeah, we were saying in the break, a um, little different effort we're seeing out of Cleveland, but as you point out, a little different opponent. This is a different animal. Than, uh, one's a kitty cat and one's a, <laughs> a cougar. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> this one's a clip cougar. So, uh, and Kevin Love with a double-double in the first half. So much talk about Kevin Love not being involved. Ernie, when you become an elite player in this league, and Charles can allude to this, he was definitely an elite player. You don't need your play call all the time. You got to go out and do what you do. When he was in Minnesota, he went to work. So here at Cleveland, go to work. Right here, your number is called. When your number is called, you got to score 60 to 70% of the time right here. It makes a nice, strong move. Jump hook. Now, other ways to go to work is to just play basketball. Right here, his play is not called, but he got it. He decides to shoot the jumper. We don't like him shooting the jumper right now. He's two for six. And right here, pick and roll right here. Plays like this, you got to finish this play right here. Mm, you got to finish this play. You got to tear the house down. But if you're not having a good game, this is the Kevin Love we remember. Rebound, outlet it, do the little things so your team can win. But, Ernie, when you're an elite player, go to work. We don't want to hear that, oh, I'm not getting no touches. Go out and get the ball. Demand the damn ball. Saw something in those pictures, Charles, that you were begging to see the other night and was getting the ball to Kevin Love low. You know, I, I, I blame LeBron, I blame Kyrie, and I blame Coach Blatt. Like, they just made this kid, like, uh, it's like Chris Bosh. Chris Bosh was a good player in Toronto. He posted up and shot some jumpers, but they made him exclusive a three-point shooter in Miami, and it's, he hadn't got back to where he used to be. We made Kevin Love, who was a good post-up player, they make him a standing three-point shooter. This guy can post up. He's got a beautiful jump hook. And, and, and it gets other parts of his game going. He's a better rebounder when you're involved in the game. But when you make a guy that good, that good, just stand on the perimeter all night, I would give Kevin Love sometimes, especially when LeBron goes out the game, because sometimes you want to give LeBron space uh, to, to be able to operate. But when Kevin Love's in a game without LeBron, I'd, I'd run every play in the half court for him because he's that good of a player on the box. He can score down low, but they have made him one-dimensional, uh, and, and, it, and it's hurt his game, to be honest with you. Before but, you go to pitches, I do have a question about that then, Chuck. You know, obviously LeBron is first option. Yes. And you, if you had a choice between having LeBron have the ball or Kevin Love, you're going to give it to LeBron. Yes. And what about Kyrie Irving? I think the option would be to give it to him. So what percentage? He's the third say, option. But what percentage yeah. would you say he should get it and how many times on the block in 20 possessions? Uh, well, LeBron's going to get 10 possessions. And right it, away. It, yeah. And it probably should be 5-5 five, five with Kyrie. Okay. So you said they should split it. It's because like what, what, what happens is mm -hmm. it's going to help their games. So if Kevin Love gets going, he's going to be a better rebounder. He's going to get more passes like that. But also when, when Kyrie and, and, and Kevin are in the game together, it, they can play inside out because – them coming off on a pick and roll, mm -hmm. you know, you know how Golden State runs the pick and roll. That big guy's in trouble. Trouble with him. Okay. Yeah, they don't, they don't ever do that with Kevin Love okay. because Kyrie is a terrific offensive player. That big guy ain't got no chance to, to switch Chuck. out on him. Yeah, Chuck, Chuck, hold on. He, he got about a minute though. He's got about well, a we minute for Clipper pictures. Minute. Well, Clipper pictures. Yeah. Since we talk so we much about Cleveland, gotta, I will talk about. I will talk about my guys up here. And the one thing about it is the new look Clippers. And now, typically, if we run it, this is usually stop freezing right there a catch and shoot for J.J. Redick. But J.J. Redick, he says, I'm changing my game. And now I become a guy not only can catch and shoot, I've learned to put the ball on the floor. One dribble, let it go. Takes another dribble, step back, jump shot over traffic. Very rarely would you see him shoot in traffic with Blake Griffin. And then Chris Paul has become the thief again. But once he becomes the thief, he doesn't wait or look for lobs. He looks to attack the rim and get to the basket. And his ability to get to the rim and shoot over has has been the difference of why that 11 out of 12 games is before tonight. And again, the thief again, Chris Paul, one of the best hands in basketball as always, but now he is in attack mode to score. I'm not looking for lobs. I'm not looking for anything else. I'm trying to take De La Dova once, twice, up and under. The difference me is that he attacks to score instead of pass. And if he keeps that mentality when Blake comes back, they can be a contender because Blake can do it in the half court. 
when the game slows down. 16 point first half for Chris Paul, including 12 straight points at one stretch in the first quarter. But it's a 59 to 50 Cleveland lead. Back with more on the American Express halftime report after this. Welcome to the American Express Halftime Report, brought to you by the Premier Rewards Gold Card from American Express. Back here on the American Express Halftime Report, Kawhi Leonard, first time All Star. First time. Voted wow, by that's the fans. Crazy. That's starter. crazy. That is crazy. This is first time making All Star. Yep. Wow. It's been a finals MVP, defensive player of the year, and now an all-star. <laughs> it may be the MVP in the NBA this year. Ooh. Uh, you ever Robert, see the Robert, guy named Steph Robert, Curry? No. Oh, whoever has the best record. You ever see guys the halftime Curry, report highlights. First get a better record. No. See what Reggie did? Uh, top of Camelback Mountain out there in Phoenix. Oh, in Phoenix. Oh, that's Most of these guys had the answer as well, and some of them are coming to the game courtesy of yours. Truly, he, he gave uh, two tickets to somebody who could answer a trivia question if they met him at 8 o'clock in the morning at Camelback Mountain. Well, who's and, stupid to be up at 8 o'clock? Oh, that's a, beautiful, that's a beautiful spot. It man. is. Who's that at Chuck? Camelback it, Mountain. Out uh, there in Phoenix. Uh, Phoenix. It's in Phoenix? Yeah, yeah it's beautiful. But yeah. it would have been there at 11 o'clock, too. I've been there. See, I was there with, with Reggie at Underdog, Underdog. And Bill Callen and Howard Zockowitz. Oh, wow. Who's at the top? Long ago. The little girl at the top is in more. She was just, she was photobombing us. It's beautiful in Arizona this time of year. Sure is. I sure would love to be there. We wish you were too. <laughs>